hello everyone and welcome to my channel options trader today so today in this video i will tell you how silver price has moved in the last week and how silver price can move in the next week see if you look at the chart of silver what we have seen that it is moving currently in this particular range okay and if you look at the range low was around 20.474 which has it ha it has already touched okay now suppose if this level sustain we can see it can go further high or if this level goes below downside then we can see it can move further down okay and this is the range of that particular trend that means if this particular range low was around 21.437 okay and once it has already break the range and made a low of around 20.474 okay after that it has moved up and again came down okay so this level is not tested twice so probability will be high what we can see the 20.4 if it comes again we can see a bounce back from this level okay before we move forward if you have any doubt regarding silver or any other commodities mail me at stockmarkettradinglive@gmail.com and a mail id i have given in the description please watch the full video then you will understand how this technical in silver commodities and other uh, forex and all or uh, there and link of my telegram i have given in the description you can watch you can join also there see suppose if this level then sustain this particular level because it is has moved out of this particular zone and suppose if this level then sustain then we can see it can come down again to a level of 20.927 okay and if this level goes downside then we can see it can touch a level of 20.427 suppose if the price goes below the this, this level then we can see it can touch a level of 19.737 and from there we can see it can come down again to a level of 19 okay 19 dollars so once this level goes downside again we can see it can touch a level of 18.320 and if that level also then sustain then we can see it can go further down but suppose if the price sustain this particular level what we can see suppose if the price sustain this particular level we can see it can go and touch a level of 21.77 and from there we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 22.174 okay and suppose if the price goes above that level then we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 23.251 okay and if that level also sustain then we can see it can make and touch a level of 24 dollars okay suppose if the price goes above that level then we can see a probability of going towards a level of 24.6 will be high and then we can see it can go further upside Okay, again I repeat. If the price didn't sustain this level, we can see a level of 20.927, and from there we can see a level of 20.417 or 425. And once this level goes downside, then we can see a level of 19.680, and then further down. But suppose if this level sustain, then we can see level sustain, then we can see it can go towards a level of 21.77, and from there we can see a level of 22.117. Suppose if the price goes above that level, then we can see a level of 22.457, and from there we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 23.081 and suppose if the price goes above that level then we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 23.421 and from there we can see it can go further high towards a level of 23.988 and then we can see it can go further high okay any doubt you can mail me regarding that okay now you have to understand something that if you are trading trading is risky that you have to understand so please consult your financial advisor or so that you, you can trade properly otherwise see if you look what i teach in my workshop see suppose if you are trading with 10000 dollars try to trade with 10 to 15% of capital per trade that comes to 1000 to 1500 risk 0.5 to 1% that comes to 50 to 100 dollars suppose if you trade five times in a day and all you lost that is 500 dollars max because per trade you have risk of 500 dollars so 500 dollars it will not affect your psychology that once you done with 500 dollars for the day exit the trade for the day and you can trade the next day so next day you will not be in a burden to recover this 500 dollars rather the, you can focus more on profit okay you will focus more on profit rather than recovering this 500 dollars what people do is they lose so much in the first day that they try to recover that amount and this how they lose their full capital okay and this is how they make losses so this is what i teach in my workshop how to overcome all these uh, problems and how to strategize your trades and exit and entries okay so hope you like the video and if you like the video please give a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel